How are you doing? Been a while. Some years, in fact, I guess. Anyway, I thought maybe I should play one of my favorites, favorite games, which would be the one, Empire the Masquerade. So yeah, let's just get right to it. The game. The World of Darkness is something something. Yeah, I really love this game. It's really great. One of the best. So, yeah, I've played through it quite often. I've played the game quite a lot. But, well, we will see if I know everything, almost everything. Maybe there are some things I don't know yet. I've played through it with uh, various clans. Um, they are a little different. I think most of you probably know this game by now. It's um, it's quite old. Yeah. But yeah, there are some slightly different things, and, and in some cases, quite different dialogue options, like for the Arcabian clan. Um, Alright, anyway, enough of the introduction. Let's get started here. So I'm not going to answer the series of questions, because I have something in mind for my character already. So we will go directly to the character sheet and select everything here. Yeah, the name is Wolfgang, so it's not very creative, I guess. For I am I'm going to play a gangrel. A male gangrel. Um I'm not quite sure if I have played a gang gangrel. Yeah, I think so. But I I think I haven't played, played it through, th completely through with the uh, gangrel, so... Yeah... We'll see, we'll see. And... Um, yeah, I don't think I need to explain everything, because if you haven't played this game yet, so... I think... I don't know. You're probably not that much into role-playing games, so maybe it was, uh, it's too old, but I don't know. You should have played it. This is what I'm trying to say here. It's a really great game. So, um, what I have in mind is something like a wild gangrel, of course all gangrel, gangrels are kind of wild and loners and yeah, but like the, the wild beast aspect combined with a little, and this is maybe a little strange, combined with, with this here, sub subterfuge. Um, so I do want to have a lot of, of physical stuff, a good fighter, if you will, and I also want to have some of the seducing dialogue, pink dialogue options. I'm going for that here. It might be a strange combo, but it's one I haven't had yet, so... For me, it's a little more interesting. Um, also, I want to know how uh, protein feels playing because I haven't played uh, this protein um, character yet, like uh, the one where you actually have your war form here. Um, yeah. Protein is a very valuable skill. If you play the pen and paper, you probably know, um, though not all disciplines and skills are like in the pen and paper, they, they change it a, a little bit. And even there in the pen and paper, there are 
different versions. Um, but yeah, I think you don't find all of them. But for protein, it's pretty much, yeah, not all the same. Three and four are a little different. Uh, one, two, f and five. Yeah, five is also different. One and two basically are like in the pen and paper um, game. But yeah, I want to know how it um, feels playing the war form. This sounds very interesting. Anyway, let's uh, get on with it. So I want the character to be to be quite um, physical, if you will. So let's put everything we have here in skill. Also, we we, want we will deal more damage than we. So actually soak, uh, but that might change later. I might even put some dots into fortitude, which you know, basically, um, well, I don't actually know how this uh, how fortitude works in the game, how good the soaking is. In the pen and paper, it's it's quite good. It's very useful because there are different kind of damage. Um, different kinds of damage. Uh, one is uh, like bashing, the other is lethal and you also have aggravated and this soaks aggravated while the claws here are one of the few dis disciplines that actually do aggravated damage. So this is very useful um, in my opinion at least. So I would like to put a point here for s for the seduction thingy, but I guess since we have zero, yeah, we will have to wait with that. We will only get to spend a few points here in the beginning. Um, in the pen paper you get a little more points, but yeah, I guess we have to start out very low here, so. But never mind, we will get some points quickly. And I'm planning to do all the side quests too. Mm. To be honest, I, I already had one uh, Let's Play of um, Vampire. Uh, and I, I already uploaded a few videos, but then I got stuck um, because of a bug. Because the game has many many bugs sadly but this is now on, on GOG mm, I bought it on G GOG um, so yeah I ho I, I s I'm pretty sure this is um, a, a patched version patched with a, an uh, unofficial patch so I think the bugs will be uh, a little less or hopefully none at all um, we will see about that, but I hope there will be less game-breaking game bugs. But that basically basically was what killed my first Let's Play of the game, where I got stuck. And yeah, I'm, I mean, there could have been other options, I guess, like with console commands or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just didn't feel like com completing the game then. And left it at that, but now here we are again, so everything's good. So mental is a little, mm, a little more difficult, maybe, but I think I will go with wits because this goes helps out our defense, and the pen and paper it actually mm, helps with initiative. But yeah, things are a little different here. So Anyway, we still have this, um, the skills here. So I won't be using firearms and melee, but, uh, or melee. Um, that leaves us with security or stealth, and both are quite useful. This is lockpicking, which you will need a lot, but stealth is 
like very OP, you know. <coughs> so I will take that. You can basically uh, stand in front of a guy and he won't notice you. Um, <coughs> one of the few, f of the of the few, no, sadly not one of the many flaws of the game. If you, uh, if you will, um, is is this? Uh, it's I won't. Uh, I'm not going to go so far to say it's broken, but the stealth system is, let's say, a little unrealistic. But hey, I guess you're a vampire, so yeah, people don't see you, you know. Yeah, even you don't even really need ob obfuscate anymore if you ha have a high stealth value. I don't know. Whatever. <coughs> so let's finish our character here with knowledge. So hacking is good. You always need that. Um, but I think I'm going to put my single point here into Haggle and make the stuff a little cheaper. Haggle is such a useful skill, but somehow, <coughs> even in other games, I never end up using it for whatever reasons. I have always got more important stuff I want to have, more interesting stuff. So why not take Haggle for it? for a change. <coughs> so I think this will be everything. Yeah, humanity, masquerade. Yeah, we will get to that later in the game. So let's start. The embrace. The act of transforming a mortal into a vampire. Sexy time. Now I want to show you something. <gasps> and it's not what you think it is. That would be so shocking. What? Italian stallion condoms. And some pills. Nice tattoo on the chest. Psychosis shirt. Also loves the handcuffs on the bed. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit!
If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. different vampires there. Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must... <laughs> adhere to if we wish to survive. It's a look on her face. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So... What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Alright, so this is a tutorial here. Mm. Yeah, you do get a useful item out of it. So I think I'm going to do it actually. <laughs> what a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> Then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? Yeah, sure. I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? Okay, I could use it. All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? Oh, that sounds nasty. I like it where I am. At least I'm out of that sea. Rice is stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Drink of oh what? man, we're popping a cherry here! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're gonna love this! Alright, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, blood, your new fucking heroin, kid! <laughs> nice! Get ready though, cause hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. That's what I say. What do I do? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human, or SOB can't find his car. <laughs> So, what do I... I mean, uh... Alright. You go down there, casually. You creep up on him. You bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Because it'll come so that <laughs> you think you've done it a thousand times already. I really, really love the dialogue. It's so creative and funny and witty and whatnot. <clears throat> Won't he become a vampire then? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to train him dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill him. Nah, we're nice vamps, right? Alright. So yeah, this is my blood pool. Don't drink. Don't drain them empty. So, yeah, I think um, I will take a break here and see if everything is um, in place, as everything is, if everything is as it should be, like sound quality uh, and whatnot. 
we will see. So, yeah, later, guys.